Hey everyone, Pandero here over on the free to play account again today. Yesterday, White Knight CC maxed torch, so going ahead and grabbing that. Awesome that they maxed torch. First time in a while, finally getting the active recruiting going on, and finally growing the guild a bit. Um, I already logged on and did my daily stuff on here, uh, just because I needed something to do earlier. Knew I was going to record, but I just hadn't yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just sweep everything, and I actually want to try to do a few Guild Wars attacks here. Oh, let's see, I got this right here. I didn't uh, claim it yesterday because I wanted you guys to see me claiming that achievement. Getting close on that mana there, too. Um, yeah, getting close on a lot of these. Ooh. There we go. Start some magic upgrading. Use almost all the gold in the process. That's okay. Go ahead and sweep some dungeons. I'm not going to run any dungeons today. Like I said, I wanted to try to do a few Guild Wars attacks and show you whoops, really what I'm thinking about when I'm trying to do them on lower smurfs like this. Um, the idea is to just try to get as many points out of it if, as you can. So if... Ooh, look at that. So if... Your option is to attack a higher base and take two flames. If that will get you more points than attacking the lower base, then it's definitely your better choice. Um, like you'll see, I can't, they, there's no auto proc heroes sitting down here. So I can safe, safely take out and two flame this base. I would go one, two, three four over here and then like throw a siren over here or something because um, as long as I get over 50% and I take out the town hall I'll get two flames um, and so while obviously not the ideal situation when working with level 100 and 120 and one 140 uh, hero that's gonna be my best option because 231 I'll get two-thirds of that so I'll get like 170 odd Right? Somewhere around there. Um, just as long as I get over that 50%. You see, I'm at 140. Or, I'm sorry, at 40. Now 44. There we go. 48 and 50. So, I'll go ahead and back out of that. I know I'm not going to win. Okay, so 161 points. It's definitely not the best in the world, but it's definitely better than nothing. Um, I would not get that even from three flaming. Like, let's look. Would I get 161? Let's go and look at someone near my own might. So, right in this area here. See, I would only get 94 from 3 flaming this guy. So, when you're super low might like this, the best option really is to attack the higher mites and try to 2 flame. Um, no auto proc heroes here either, but the troops will take my heroes out. Which is sad, but that's how it goes. So let's see, there were more higher might ones up here. Not gonna beat that base. Anybody that has a Skull Knight out, <laughs> it's not even worth. Ugh. Yeah, this was the one with the troops. Let's see, he does have auto proc heroes. He's got both Harpy. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna take that base out. Just keep looking for for an easy one. See, and he's got his town hall inside. In order to get the two flames, I want to be able to take out the town hall. Um, lots of troops there too. Yeah, not gonna be able to take that. Level one hundred and eighty. No, thank you. Okay, here we go. Here's one. So let's go two over there, three over here. Probably should have put Ghoul on that left side just because of the town hall. But I think it'll be okay. No auto proc heroes up there. No dread drake. No harpy. Um, no warlock. You know heroes like that. Don't want them sniping my guys for no reason. Look at siren. Oh man, siren and thunder god just wrecking it in there. 
I wonder if I dropped only Siren and Thunder God if I could take out those heroes. I don't know, but they're doing a lot of damage. You know what? Back out, back out. I want to try this and just see. I don't think I can, but Siren over here, Thunder God over here. And I'm just going to let him go to town. Actually, you know what? I'll drop Druid because he'll give a little attack bonus when he procs. Yeah, see, it doesn't look like all that much in one attack there, but you gotta remember, they don't have much attack at all. So, like, that was all Thunder God taking out one building there. <laughs> so, yeah, look at that. Just doing all kinds of damage. A siren's attacking buildings over on the right now. But she'll turn and go up against a mana vault there and go back to attacking the heroes. Whoops. I don't know about this. I don't know. Either way, we'll get two flames. But I mean, look at that. Santa's almost gone. Reaper's almost gone. But the unfortunate thing is, I didn't hit that Cupid at all. Haven't hit a Mortep yet. Um, I don't know. Oh, we're getting close. Or maybe even we could just take out those hero bases there <laughs> that they're all sitting on. Try to get the three flame that way. Leave the heroes. There we go. See, I'm at one flame now. Santa's gone. Oh, Santa's back. But Reaper's gone. And here goes Santa. Oh no, Thunder God's now procking on the things closer to him. Like those vaults that are there. So this will be the end of it. But it was a good try anyway. Got our two flames and we'll back out. 113 points. Eh, no, not going to do that one because the town hall's inside. Let's run down this a little bit. Um, probably be able to two flame this. I don't see why not. It does have auto proc heroes though. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, not going to take out the town hall because that arrow tower is gonna wipe him. Let's try again. But we're gonna do ghoul up here. There we go. And let's drop everyone else. Like, ghoul should be able to suck up the damage from that tower because when he procs he'll start to heal himself and he'll have the the defense boost so even if he only takes out the town hall I think he'll be alright with thunder god procking and everything hitting that tower yeah it'll be or hitting that it'll be gone but now ghoul will run oh no he ran away good go heal yourself a little bit ghoul you deserve it let's put in a hard day of work oh and they're gonna run to the outsides too <laughs> Even better. That way they're not running straight in on those towers right off. Am I going to make 50%? I don't know. A lot of those buildings are down in there. And those towers are reaming my heroes. Thunder God gone. Come on. Come on. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think so. 38... 42, come on guys, get there, 45, come on Siren. No, I'm going to lose everyone. I don't want to revive them anyway, so probably better that I lost. Um, okay, nope, Town Hall's inside the base. Didn't mean to hit the start button again. That's just habit from playing on my main account, which I absolutely killed in Guild Wars today. Um... No, see, the arrow tower is too strong, probably. Let's keep going. Okay, maybe this one. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Druid is getting himself attacked like nobody's business. Oh, come on, take those out. Okay. I don't think this will be enough to put me over two flames, but 
maybe it'll be close. I don't really know. Come on, Drew, and heal those guys up there again. The thing about this base is he left heroes no way to get in there. So they're going to have to come up against the walls, which really is a poor base design to start with. Um, but the towers are strong enough, they're going to stop my heroes. I'm not going to get two flames. Yeah, and he's got a Skull Knight sitting there. There's no way. 37, 39, 42, well, maybe. Ghoul looks like he's sucking up a lot of damage from that. From those two towers over there, at least. Oh, and I'm stuck at 45. I can't kill the walls. <laughs> it's too much for me to try to kill the walls. Yeah, look at this. And they're gone. 45%, that's okay. We'll keep trying. I have no idea which base that was, so we'll just start up here. No. <laughs> nope. Let's go ahead and start looking at some of these. This one, maybe. Let's do this one. Two, three, four, and then we'll put Siren right here. Oh my gosh. I'm getting dreamed by those towers. Drew got taken out like Drew got taken out like really fast. Let's try again. Let's drop a little bit different. One, two, a little further out, three, four, and then five. Okay. So nobody's getting hit by the towers immediately, which is definitely a good thing. But, oh no. That Dred Drake. Oh, good. My siren died. My siren was about to hit that Dred Drake again, and it would have procked and wiped everything that was down here. It looks like this base, though, is a little further to the right than it is to the left. If you're looking at it kind of diagonally, I guess. Um, which is good because my Thunder God's getting to go to town up there and he just keeps hitting the town hall. 49%. Almost there. Come on, take out that. Yeah, take it out. Get it. Get it. Yes, 57 and back out. So we lost Siren. We'll go ahead and revive her. I'm at 299 gems, which is almost ideal. Go ahead and get these. I wasn't even paying attention to this. Whoops. Go ahead, donate this. What? Oh no, it's looted. Okay, I'll spend. There we go, finish off, and I'm lazy. Don't don't want to waste the time doing that. So, one more Guild Wars attack to do, I believe. Maybe two? I don't remember. We'll see when we get in. Two more left. Nope, not going to be able to take that one. Man, people upgrade their towers like crazy first. They got these really low my base, but these really high level towers. Okay, I'll probably be able to do this one. Does have an auto proc hero there, but if I leave my siren like fighting in the wrong direction, and then Thunder God out here, Thunder God will go for that town hall. Rather than those auto proc heroes there. Definitely one siren going in the wrong direction, so she's not procking down there and hitting that dread drake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, all right, there we go. Now siren's gonna. Whoa! I hit a totem somewhere. Aries popped out. <laughs> all right, yeah, those towers aren't shooting far enough to be able to hit my heroes. I'm really not worried about the stun. I'm really just worried about the amount of damage they'll do. Okay, 54 is enough. And then one more left. Okay, back out. Nope. Uh, sure. Oh no, this tower will kill everybody. 
Um, okay, let's go into the last one and see what the might is over here. Maybe I can do this. Yeah, I can do this one. Any auto proc heroes? Yes, yeah, still Dread Drake. So I definitely want Siren going in the wrong direction. We'll go one, two, and then we'll go one, and then we'll plop Death Knight right here. This is actually a pretty good base. I believe I used something similar to this myself at one point. Good base. These heroes right here, he could probably beat uh, O, P, probably. Especially with those three garrisons all the way around. Definitely think he could do that. Oh no, Siren. Attack something else. Okay, there we go. Siren's going up now. Upward. <clears throat> Look at that Dread Drake. He's ready to go. Oh no, Thunder God. Ah, oh, you jerk, Thunder God. Dang it. Okay, all that's left is Death Knight that revived and Ghoul. <laughs> oh man, Ghoul. Are you going to put me over 50% by killing these buildings over here? I don't know. It's going to be really close. It'll probably end up 49% because that's just my luck. Oh, come on. Just do it. Do it, ghoul. Do it. And if I'm not mistaken, White Knight CC is on the path to taking number one in Guild Wars again. They are always number one. So if you're looking for a lower guild, not much competition, this is the place to be right now. There's potential for me to be getting about 25 more members in here soon. There we go, 51%. Nailed it! So, join up now. It's a good, good guild to be in. Look at that, 665 points for me. And look at us. White Knight CC in first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at these guys, absolutely doing an amazing job. First place in Guild Wars, I know we're going to win it. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do today on here, because I have Guild Wars to run on another free-to-play account that's in White Knight CC as well. Uh, my other Smurf, actually my original account, not the account I play on now, but my original account is in White Knight CC. Oh. I pulled this out of the daily rewards today. I, think, I was thinking, who am I? I'm upgrading Thunder God, aren't I? Or Ghoul? Who am I upgrading? Nine thousand. Yeah, I must be doing him. Oh, huge jump! How many shards do I have? Oh my gosh! I have like all the shards. I shouldn't have done that. I was saving them. That was dumb. Oh well. At least it's going to better my account in some way oh my gosh so what I need a thousand and then my first five a ten hero one of these four of these the way to buy these are so much easier than it used to be that's amazing there we go my first five of ten hero Ghulam perfect hero for it as well oh yeah I love this hero great hero okay so tomorrow my next special hero card who's it gonna be I'm hoping pumpkin duke that's who I'm or skull knight pumpkin duke or skull knight that's who I'm wanting I don't think you can get skull knight though yeah I don't think so can get a warlock that'd be pretty cool can get tree I already have Siren, I already have Death Knight. You could get Cupid. Yeah, it'll be a good deal. So, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. I am over 780 now, um, which is crazy. If you watch my first video from today, I think I told you my subscriber count was like 730 or 740. And if I'm over 780 now, that's 40 subscribers today. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. And that's all I've got for you today. So, Pandero is out.